<clears throat> okay, you have one type of chocolate that sells for $3 a pound and another that sells for $7.40 a pound. You want to have 30.8 pounds of a chocolate mixture that sells for $6.50 a pound. So in other words, you want to mix them together so that you make a chocolate that is somewhere between the, the cheap and the expensive one. It's still kind of on the expensive side. All right, let's make a table. Four columns, four rows. So we have the type of chocolate here. We have the expensive and the cheap. So the price per pound of the expensive was $7.40 and the cheap was $3. And we have the number of pounds. And all we know about that is that all together we are going to have 30.8 pounds. And all together the, the mixture, the mixed chocolate, is going to be uh, $6.50 per pound. So we'll say that we have X pounds of the expensive and Y pounds of the cheap. And then if we multiply those together, uh, we get this total column here. And that's 7.4x and 3y. And then we need to multiply 650 times 30.8 to know what the total of that is. So 200.2. All right, so we have um, these two columns here, the pounds. And the total are going to give us the two equations that we need to solve this. So one equation is x plus y equals 30.8. And the other one is 7.4x plus 3y equals 200.2. I'm going to use substitution and I'm going to solve for y with the top equation. So y is equal to 30.8 minus x. And then if I take that and I plug it in for y in the second equation, um, I can get it down to one variable. So I have 7.4x plus 3 times the 30.8 minus x in parentheses equals 200.2. Distributing, we get 7.4x plus 3 times 30.8, my calculator says is 92.4. All right, minus 3x equals 200.2. Running out of space, so that. Um, 7.4 minus 3x is going to give us 4.4x plus 92.4 equals 200.2. Then if we subtract the 92.4 on both sides, we get 4.4x is equal to, oh, that's a terrible equal to sign. one oh seven point eight and if we divide both sides by four point four we have solved for x and x is twenty four point five so that means that we need twenty four point five pounds of now x stand, stood for the expensive chocolate so of the expensive chocolate and the other one would be 30.8 minus that because we needed a total of 30.8 all together. So the cheap chocolate we need 6.3 pounds. And this makes sense because it, it did seem like we were going to need more of the uh, expensive chocolate in order to have one that's 650 a pound. 